Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Grixis control here. We're going to be playing it in Diamond. That's where we're currently at. Working our way back up to Mythic this season. This is Hawkeye. He is awesome. He decided to come join us for this league. So yeah, Grixis control, as, as you all know, is a deck that I've been playing quite a bit in this format. And because basically because of Nickel, Nickel Bull is Dragon God and how powerful that card is. But my lists have been changing quite a bit because as the format changes, um, you know, and you're playing a bunch of reactive spells. What, which one of those spells you want to play, <laughs> it kind of changes a lot. And this is where I'm at, like right now today with the deck. But you know, could could possibly see playing a couple other spells in different places. So you know, like if you're if you're watching this video later. Um, you know, feel free to kind of tweak the the list as uh, as you see fit. Basically, with when you're playing reactive decks, it's more important than like proact like proactive decks like Gruul that we just played. You want to play like the best cards like on on the spots of the curve and all that kind of stuff. Reactive decks kind of deal more with like wanting to play cards that you're comfortable with, cards that you know exactly what what your plan is with them, and everything like that. All right, so new things in this list. Uh, we are adding Enter the God Eternals into the main deck for the first time here in Grixis. This card's just been so good, uh, not only out of the sideboard with this deck, how I've played it before, but then also in the blue-black control decks in the main deck. This card just looks awesome. So we're putting this in the main deck. And I'm going back to playing Discovery again. I was, I was off of Discovery and playing other things, trying to be a lot more interactive in the first couple of turns. But I think I just had too much removal in my deck, and I didn't have enough ways to sift through the deck to look for our important win conditions and so i'm going back to discovery discovery also gives us dispersal which can uh, act as like an instant speed removal spell um, and it can give us a little bit of action against uh, enchantments at different times um, discovery dispersal also works really really well with uh kefnet um because like dispersal like, Dispersal is a good card, but 5 mana is kind of too much for that effect. But if you get to pay 3 mana for Dispersal, it only starts looking really, really strong. So yeah, I like Discovery Dispersal. Uh, it can also kind of set up a Kefnet, you know, if you surveil two, like the Discovery part, surveil two cards, you keep them both on top, draw one, the next turn you draw the other kind of thing. Still like the Thieva Sandy in the main deck, it's just so good against so many different decks. <clears throat> it's like your main kind of like win con there and it it's also just a lightning rod you know like Thieva Sandy like Thought Erasure takes like one removal spell Thieva Sandy takes another removal spell and then you just wear them down so that these boluses finish it finish off the game all right let's let's get to some games let's see how we do all uh Grixis control Want some water? Yeah, same, yeah. Definitely like Discovery fix, <clears throat> also fix the mana with our three color deck for sure. I tried Chart of Course for a little bit and I liked Chart of Course, <clears throat> but I think Discovery is better because of having the dispersal part attached to it as well. Yeah, I moved away from Angras Rampage and Lava Coil, two cards that I do like. Um, there's just so many good cards to play, kind of thing. But yeah, I moved away from both of those. Yeah, that's the key. <laughs> yeah, Hawkeye's pretty chill. Hopefully we draw an untapped land here. <clears throat> this is definitely unfortunate with the two uh, tap lands and us being on the draw, but they're like mulliganing to, to six. This hand's really not that bad. Sultai. Sultai Control. We're going to play Sultai Control after this.
That looks like the deck we're going to be playing after this. We have too many Tyrant Scorns over here. Tyrant Scorn and Jaylight Ranger trade for one another. Yeah, we have 26 lands in this deck. So hopefully we draw some. But unfortunately, even though Tyrant Scorn and Jade Lights trade, our opponent gets up on this because Jade Lights will draw cards also. This is, so these are good trades for the opponent. Basically really worried about this as Kanta for later. Since when is Sultai controlled anything? I don't know. I I just made that deck that we're playing earlier today. Uh, this list is a little different. I don't I don't know exactly what our opponent's playing here. That's a good card. These Jade Lights are so good. Jade Light Ranger's great. Hey Magto. If I had anything that could blow up Ascanta, yeah, I would have killed the Ascanta. But I don't I don't have anything that kills Ascanta. We have not drawn well, drawing seven cards and only one land. It's pretty unfortunate. I don't think we have a chance anymore. <clears throat> you have experienced. I mean, three, I mean, basically just three lands can't compete with seven lands and an Escanta, so, you know, eight mana. You just can't. <laughs> this study is over. I think you will find my notes helpful. Yeah, they're looking for casualties of war to destroy my land. It's rude. I mean, this this thing this game's just over. Thankfully, they got a bunch of Tyrant Scorns also. It's not so good against Nicobolus the Ravager. Thankfully, Ascanta can't find Krasis. There goes, <laughs> there goes four lands. So can it be a fifth land in a row for us to play the Dragon God? Okay, it is. Now question, do I want to actually play Dragon God? Maybe not. Let's mill them over for four. Woo! Got a Krasis and a Casualties of War. Awesome mill. Get those out of there.
All right, so that only returns permanents. That's a whole lot of permanents. But they can't get back casualty of the war, but they can go grab Krasis, Tamio, and like, you know, two Tamios and a Jade Light. I don't really know how we're competing with that plain white celebration there. Oh, they have Frilled Mystic too? Right. All right, well, Ascanta did its job. All right, let's get rid of Cry. Get rid of Enter the God Eternals. 64, just get rid of the Tyrant Scorns. Play a ritual of set that could kill a bunch of jade lights and crisis instead of just trying to one for one all the time with those. Our opponent doesn't have Thief. I don't have it. Hey, Davi. Uh, yeah, what are you struggling with with the sideboard for Abzan Citadel? Why can't we just have an untapped land? I mean, the Escanta won the last game, and <laughs> that's lucky. Hey, what's up, Sway? Welcome back. Thanks for keeping that sub going. Oh, Hawkeye's gone. I'm gonna move this back up. I guess I should not have kept that other that other Kef net, but we can we can cast Thought Erasure like that turn whenever it's coming up. My brown, I have just that was a quick minus. This. Hey, I'll get I'll get sway. Hope everything's going good. Sometimes life's real busy. That's all good. Meditate and prepare. So this is like what our opponent's doing here with the scorns. This is why scorns a lot better than cast down. 
Uh, someone's, someone's asking about that before we started hit, hitting that stream button. Let us have a story wow. battle worth read, seek, and find. If, doesn't matter if we have all these cards if we can't cast them. If we don't have mana. That's why the opponent kept like the five five land hand. It's better than our two land hand. An eight rack type deck that's good in, in standard. There's not very much I for it. Learned much from my ancestors. Can't do anything. Yeah, time walks are good. Our opponent has one Escanta in their deck, and they just had it on turn two both games. Ugh. I guess they didn't... Maybe they didn't have it on turn two the first game. I think they might have thought Erasure Maya Scanta on turn two and then played one or something like that. I know I noted this somewhere. Just let me untap. Nope. Yeah, our opponent can... Yeah, we can't... I mean, we can't beat the Ascanta, how this is working out. Like, they just have so much more mana than us, they get to just cast so many cards that the... the the fact that they're bouncing doesn't that doesn't matter. All those bounces are just removal spells. It's the good news about Krasis drawing a whole lot of things that we get to discard them. It's good news. Bad news is we'll die to the Krasis. Find our ritual of set. We did it. Still in the game. <clears throat> We're 
We're still not going to beat Azkanta in a million mana with our five lands, but... Alright, not in the game anymore. They had their one Azkanta both games. Ugh, right away. I think I need a mulligan more. I guess like my two land hands just couldn't couldn't compete. We didn't draw lands to, to help him out. Need to mulligan him more. <laughs> no, I didn't really consider drawing lands. Maybe I should have done that. Jeez. We have 26 in here. Why is every hand two lands? Can we have like three or four? Yeah, I ended at 357 last season. Yeah, Grace's control is pretty clunky. It's it's a little unfortunate. The more you play, the more they realize that the red just doesn't add enough. The soul type control that I'm going to play up after this is is real similar to to Grix's control here, being blue black based, but having green instead of red, and I think the green may be better, honestly. I want Grixis Control to be good. But our red's just not adding enough. Our opponent's gonna go Pyromancer next turn, and we're gonna Bedevil next turn. Dang. I would love to have Kefnet. Don't have don't have mana though. Should I be playing twenty seven lands? Maybe twenty six isn't enough. Maybe 26 isn't enough. The devil's the removal spell I take out in this matchup. <laughs> hey, what's up, Kick? Thanks for that sub there, Kick. Sub number eight on the day. Twenty seventh land could be a blast zone. It's hard to play colorless land with Nicol Bolas Dragon God. It really is. All right, here we go. We have stabilized. Opponent didn't have. They didn't draw into like a frenzy or Chandra or anything like that. So we're going to start whittling away their mana base here. Get rid of another land, draw another card. Ow. I'd like to draw a creature. I have other 
your schemes to attend. My schemes are never ending. Hmm. I was thinking about holding that for dispersal, like on draw step. There we go. Hey, good job, Magic. Magic Bra, you ranked up with the Angels deck this morning? Awesome. Yeah, I like that Angels deck quite a bit. We had a ton of success with it, and it felt really solid. Yeah. All right, let's get these. Cry the Carnariums, Ritual of Soot, uh, extra God, Enter the God Eternals, and probably these Negates. I think I want to take out Bedevil. One Volus Dragon God. And then uh, either we take out Thief or we trim. Oh, I want I want Duresses in and I want Thought Erasures out. So yeah, so either we take out the Thieves now, or we can take out like two Discovery and one Ascanta. Those are like basically our those are basically our options there. I'm going to take out some thieves. Hey, what's up, Yud? Um, I think that was just perfect. Um, a perfect circle. I don't remember the name of the song. Liliana just costs too much in this mat in this matchup. Three Libras. That's what that's the name of the song. Three Libras. By a perfect circle. <laughs> Three Hawkeyes. We need twenty seven lands. Our hand's awesome, but it's going to be awesome whenever we don't have any lands. When you just have all spells, of course, it's going to look good. Never mind. We need 25 lands. <laughs> I'm going to keep this as Kanta here to try to make sure the rest of my draw steps are good. Uh, taking turn two off is kind of rough. Same with turn three. We'll see which turn we want to take off. All right, we're taking turn three off. Yep, y'all called it. We're gonna draw all lands now. When I was complaining about not having enough lands, now we're just gonna draw all of them. We're, we're kind of doing okay. Okay-ish. See if we can get rid of Chain Whirler here. That's an expensive way to get rid of Chain Whirler.
That's better than a random card, though. I'm not going to do the dispersal part. I'll just do discovery. Look for a Tyrant Scorn. Oh, gosh. Get rid of those. Well, that's probably game. Stop. <laughs> Tyrant's Corn. It's looking for vegetables. That's a problem. This one's over. Can we still cast Enter the God Eternals? We cannot. We could play like a sweeper. So maybe they just completely whiff. All right, let's try again. Game three. We'll get to be on the play. That is good there. the 10th now and we are getting through May pretty quickly All right, good hand. We got three lands and four spells. That's our first time. Just game number five. First time to have either three or four lands and then three or four spells in our seven. I like it. Let's get Ascanta going.
Yeah, Nickel Bolus is one of our best cards. I'd love to look to see if they have. Basically, see if they have um, Frenzy. Alright, that's not so bad. You can get rid of that. Frenzy's the problem. Um, I think basically I think that we're in a pretty good spot. I feel like Frenzy is going to be like the one card that I'm really worried about. I guess I didn't really, I didn't consider Daredevil, so I guess now Daredevil can... Alright, good. I was going to say they could Daredevil duress away the contempt that was for the Chandra. So obviously our our life would have been better if I would have contempted the previous turn. I was going greedy to just make sure they don't have frenzy. Um, what are we gonna do now? I think we gotta get rid of it now. We're done here. The dress was really great. Greedy. Why would you say it was clear they had no frenzy because they played Chandra? You don't think if you had a frenzy you'd play? Sh if you had Chandra and frenzy, don't you just play the Chandra first and then the frenzy second? That seems like exactly what you do. Hey, what's up, ne Necrolepsy? So just because they played Chandra doesn't mean it was clear that they didn't have a frenzy. Alright, they can't even cast that Daredevil anyway. Why was I worried about that Daredevil? Can't even cast that anyway. Unfortunately, like, the worst thing happened for us, of course, they found another Frenzy. Or, like, they found a Frenzy. You know, they didn't have Frenzy whenever we dressed. I took a turn off to dress to, to protect myself against Frenzy. And then they didn't have Frenzy. And then they found Frenzy. So all just the worst things that could happen. another frenzy now <laughs> just all frenzies 
All the way down. Just can't beat Frenzy at all. And that's why Frenzy is just so scary that that's why oh, we, we don't. We don't beat Frenzy. And somebody asks, how do we win? We don't. That's why I took that entire turn off just to duress, to, just to try to make sure they weren't going to be casting a Frenzy after that Chandra. This is, this is really catchy. All right, let's play the same game. Do they draw Frenzy? If they do, we lose. If they don't, we win. We don't necessarily win. If they don't, we have a chance. That's how it was those other three games. Last time they had Frenzy game one and the game three, we lost those. They did not have Frenzy game two, we won that one. No, I, I don't think I'll be playing any Ravnica Constructed this weekend. There's still just so many so many standard decks that I'm still playing and, and tuning and everything. Yeah, yeah, the Selesnia Selesnia Titans. <clears throat> Version uh, version two with um, with having like Lyra, Shalai main deck and everything. Yeah, that would definitely be a a good deck to be playing right now with all the the red decks that we're facing. Red is just simply. I mean, it's just the most popular deck. And it's really good. Like, there's a reason why it's the most popular deck. It's very strong. So I could try to protect myself to, against Frenzy with this Dispersal. I'm not going to. Like, look at our hand. Our hand is awful. Even if we get rid of it, even if we, even if they have Frenzy and we get rid of it with Dispersal, what are we going to do after that? We're just not going to do anything and they'll just draw burn spells and kill us. I don't know if I was supposed to keep Tyrant's Corn or not, or just look for another threat after Thief of Sanity. I think I want to keep in a couple of Bedevils. It doesn't look like they're playing Frenzy if they have like Chandra Risk Factor, which is kind of good news.
But because of Chandra, I want to keep in a couple of Bedevils. So red matchup's just so hard. I think it's either light up the stage or risk factor, I think. And take light up the stage. Um, you know, risk factor deals four twice, like that's eight damage. It's, you know, duressing it away takes taking out four damage is really nice. But I guess the light up the stage being two cards, that's probably worth more on it. Like, maybe that's worth more on average than four damage. Um. It's an awkward, awkward time to have discovery. is here to help your pain. Well, this wasn't very fun. Right, maybe we'll just draw into another land and we can play Dragon God next turn. Start drawing some more cards and reducing their resources. That'd be uh, the ideal draw. That is not ideal. It turns on Wizard's Lightning and everything. Ugh, that makes it harder just to slam Nickel Bolas Dragon God now. That was not good. I cannot exploit. Yeah, all the other plays besides Slamming Bolas, I agree, they were not good. I guess I would have been able to Discovery into Cry the Carnarium. I assume they don't have enough burn spells to kill us. Otherwise, they probably would have done that. I don't know why the auto tapper took out both blue sources. Uh. Let your weak minds crumble. Thanks, auto tapper. We're not necessarily dead. We're not dead yet. Like, 
Presumably they cast Risk Factor here. Oh, never mind. That was a good card to draw. At least we didn't die to Frenzy that, that time. I mean, hopefully we don't play Mono Red again. Like, we could have, like, all four Enter the God Eternals and more Cry of the Carnariums. It seems like those are kind of our best cards, or, like, Cry of the Carnarium. Could be, like, going up to, like, four Cry, four Enter the God Eternals kind of thing. I replaced Chart, of course, with Discovery, and, and I... Th I think I like the discoveries more. I know, like, for a time that I wanted the chart, of course. Um, gosh, this is all just... There's just nothing good. Yeah, Moment of Cravings. The problem is, is if you make your deck, like, just... If you make Grixis just too much anti-aggro... It's just kind of hard to beat the other matchups. It's hard to beat Esper and Nexus at that point. At least we got our main deck, Cry of the Carnarium. So we're, we're looking awesome here. I don't know anything about that, that deck, Zoe. Let's make them discard a card. They didn't play a land. Got a couple spells in hand. Let's make them discard one of them. That's a fairy. Mm. Yeah, I haven't I haven't played against that deck, Zoe, so I don't, I don't know. So yeah, they'll tap a Bolas. Or like, you know, they'll tap one of them, untap, tap the other. Hmm. In exchange for eternal servitude. No! Witness a mote of my power. And another Benelish Marshal in hand. <clears throat> Basically, we got rid of the, we still got rid of the Belmish Marshal, but you know this allows them to tap my things here. What's going on with Grixis? We're just losing to all the aggro decks. We are getting aggroed. I will return one day. Maybe I should just kill a Law Rune Enforcer. I would have the other Banalish Marshal. And then I wouldn't be able to block the Kefnet. Or the. Wouldn't be able to block the Vanguard. Dispersal doesn't really save me. So I guess I'm going to cast one mana Discovery. Looking for Enter the God Eternals. 
Wow. Get rid of those. Alright, try again. That doesn't work. All right, get all those things in. I think maybe we just need four Enter the God Eternals. I think this is a matchup where I just want all this removal in. All right, this looks just fine. Don't really want Duress Negate here, like we were bringing those in against Red. <laughs> yeah, those one drops. So I could have, so if I would have Nickel Bolas and killed one of them, the other one would have been able to keep tapping down the Kefnet. They would have been able to play another Benelish Marshal, make their, their other creature a 5-3. If I just didn't... I just had one one of these be an untap land, so I could play something on turn two. Hey, thank you so much. Like Zoe, we got donation decks here. I keep this because a ritual set. And even if we're a little bit behind. All right, play either version. All right, either one of these two decks here with Jeskai Control with Fibble Fip. All right, cool. What what day do you want me to play it? All right, play it whenever we're playing against a lot of Nexus and Control. I should not have played that Drown Catacomb first here. Because we could have found a Shock Land that would have been able to play. Bounce the elephant, take five, Ritual of Soot. GG. Ah, uh, nothing's going well for us. We're all the way back down to Diamond Tier 4. No, Deckbaster is not down. Can't beat an aggro deck at all. 
just refresh your stream if, if De Deckmaster is not working for you. Just refresh your stream, or there's some something like that. I don't know. I don't. I don't use Deckmaster on your side, but it, it's up. It's working. I don't know how to refresh it. All right, well, we're going to hit land drops, so we're not going to just have, like, not going to keep a hand with just these two tap lands, like always. Uh, fam, yes, I do, and yes, I do. There you go. There you go, Cub Monkey. Good job. Um, that was a little snappy there. Sorry. Question, if you were in a tournament, would you keep a six land hand? I've certainly kept six land hands before. Quite a bit of times. I mean, it'd have to kind of be how I was feeling and all that kind of stuff. Um... Yeah, it's working out. We've drawn Ascanta, drawn our seventh land, and then an Ascanta and a Nicol Bolas. The Ascanta should really help filter our draws. I don't have a Ritual of Soot in the main deck, which against the Wild Growth Walker Jade Light Ranger deck, you really want a Ritual of Soot. We've got a pretty strong hand here, though. Definitely glad we're on the play. If we were on the draw, we'd be, like, really dead with them having turn to Jade Light and then Prison Realm, but with us being on the play, we still got a chance. Hey, Eisenf, thanks for that resub there. There's nothing wrong with Bedevil. All right, didn't mess it up that time. Got the third black source in. But Bedevil's not just, like, it's just not great. We really want to find Cry of the Carnarium. Like, three mana to just kill one thing. There's nothing wrong with it there. But just kind of keep looking for something else and... Fill in the graveyard is good for Ascanta too. So like every card that we put in the graveyard is helps out our Ascanta. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I've done that. I think I did that twice before, two different times. Like play the wrong land and realize I didn't have three black sources for Nicol Bolas. All right, this isn't looking so bad for us. They didn't play anything else out. Most likely holding up Frilled Mystic and missed a land drop. And missed a land drop also. Yeah, this is looking good for us now. Nicol Bola should be able to take over. Instant speed is good. Hey, what's up, E. Cray? Yeah, Angrath. Angrath's still really cool, but I don't think Angrath's better than Nicol Bolas. And with Enter the God Eternals being so vital against aggro, it kind of takes up a, any slot that like Angrath would have.
<clears throat> and I was not going to let them untap and like have another Frilled Mystic to protect something. Definitely just making sure that they wouldn't have three power to attack the Nicol Bolas with. The Planeswalkers are good. My revenge will be painful. My intellect is without limit. Definitely considering contempting the Llanowar Elf. All right, more cry, more soot, more end of the god eternals, less what? Less thief. I think thieves can go. All right, thief gone. Yeah, I kind of agree. And then uh, we need one more card. Well, Nickel Bull's Dragon God is expensive, as we saw there. It just takes over the game, especially. It's a really good thing to follow up a Cry of the Carnarium Ritual Soot kind of thing with. Um. Take a land out on the draw. I don't, we just added in two more four drops and another five drop. This is Hot Thoughts by Spoon. I like to cry the carnarium. <clears throat> they do have like a bunch of mana creatures, and then you know, like basically it's like all the mana creatures I want cry the carnarium for. But maybe just play two. They should have. They should have like incubation druids, or you know, it's, they should have more mana creatures than just land war elves. They should hit all of those plus frilled mystic plus explore creatures. Now those are blue mana. I kind of want to cast this other discovery next turn. Um, I guess I'm getting rid of this blood crypt. So they definitely have negate. Oh, they just shocked in there. I'm glad they're unwilling to negate discovery though. If they just want to sit back and hold up, hold up negate the whole time, that's good news for me. This isn't a fight you can win. I've got it. Come on. Well, I'll wait on you. Let's cast you. Where's blue mana? Uh, we have a problem. Oh, Our first eight cards, we've seen no blue mana. All right, problem averted. And 
not letting them cast their negate there. Now this like Nicol Bolas is you know blocks the branch walker. It's awkward for this to ferry. Here we go. I really hope they have another land they just discard that Hallowed Fountain. Did they not? Wow. Hmm. Using the Tyrant Scorn, because instead of Bedevil, Tyrant Scorn requires blue mana, just like everything else. Uh, if we draw, like, another red-black land, we could Bedevil plus Ascanta. Or, you know, Cry plus Ascanta, but... Bedevil could take, a, could take out, like, a Vivian or something like that also. So we're going to just use the Tyrant Scorn instead, even though it only costs two mana and not three. Discard a Frilled Mystic. Alright, so they're sitting on another Frilled Mystic right now. Alright, what are we discarding? One of these enter the God Eternals. No, not the other blue source. That was the only thing I didn't want them to draw was another blue source. <clears throat> So now they can have Frilled Mystic and Negate, two cards that they're certainly showing. That's a good draw. We're baiting out the Frilled Mystic here, then we'll cast Cry of the Carnarium. If they let it resolve, then I'll just shock in and have Bedevil on their turn. If you're doing well, Rev Daddy, you probably don't need to change anything. I feel like you need more, like, lava coils, like things that cost, like, two mana, right? You have, like, Bedeck and Dreadhorde Invasion is the only things that cost two mana. Why can't that Jade Light be a 3 2? I cannot. 
Walk a righteous path. I'd like to find like a thought erasure. I don't know. So we gotta get rid of this frilled mystic somehow. No, I haven't got the new sub badges yet. Well, they're still the same same sub badges. No, I probably should have just got the two mana spell so we could double spell. And basically use the two mana spell just to bounce the Gideon here. You like play the play the bolus on my turn, the four mana bolus, then try to bounce. They could have, they could just be patient and just replay their Gideon, of course. In that case, wow. Curse the darkness. What if they don't actually have Frilled Mystic, and they're just pretending like they do the whole time? All right, please draw land. I'd like to draw land, please. I'll do. That auto tap will not do. patient on that frilled mystic definitely glad they didn't save Gideon if they would have saved Gideon would have been a problem would have had to like dragon god uh, getting a little laggy come on arena you can do it you can do it. We were there you go. Once. I am one again. Your existence is pointless. So now they have a lot of cards now because of Krasis, but we have the Dragon God in play. They've gotten rid of two Frilled Mystics so far because they discarded one earlier to a Bolas. And then we made them uh we made them get rid of another. Let's see if you're worthy. I've seen things that would break someone like you. 
Vivian. Do you think they have negate? <laughs> Draw says can't right after they find Knight of Autumn. I cannot exploit. Hmm. I don't care about the deputy one bit. Whether they have negate. I guess if they do have negate, I would rather play this. I don't want the contempt negated. We gotta contempt that Vivian. I'll let them as Kanto or like Knight of Autumn away that as Kanto. It's fine. This has been a really good game. It's been a really long drawn out affair here. I am not going to sit this. Trust me. I have a plan. Oh, that's a pretty great Teferi. I, have I still have like the thought razors in my deck, right? Come to me. I haven't seen one yet. I would love for them to play that right now. Please play that deputy. Please just play the deputy. Just refuse. Do I want to look for a creature? Meh. Strongest decks. Um, mono red. Nexus. Esper Control as like the traditional decks. No, you can't play in instant speed so we can't we can't play instance because they're Teferi. So even if we ticked up, I don't I don't think we could. Yeah, Gruul's really good. Uh, I liked that Gruul Arcbow deck we just played. Um, as far as the decks that I play, I like that deck. I like the Mono White Angels we played a little bit ago. Or played that a few days ago. Um, I'm going to activate this as Kanta. Overcasting Contempt. And I need a reset arena after this. I think the Bolas no quotes are bugged. Because, yeah, I think I... Bolas is supposed to y'all know like that whenever he dies. Not whenever the opponent exiles something because of his tick up. This 
Yep. Might be a bad idea. Frog Unleash is correct. Cannot beats can. So if there's something that says that you can do something and something that says that you cannot do something, the cannot trumps can. I would recommend a new player to rank up with Mono Red. It is really strong. And uh, you, you don't really need to know the rest of the metagame too much. You don't really need to know what the opponent's doing like as much like comparatively to other decks. You just do you just do your thing. Oh man, too many options. I am dead. Not dead yet. Thought erasure does exist. We found a thought erasure. I'll protect you. Yeah, it's possible they have disdainful. Basically, I just I just want to activate as Kanta, so I I think just activating as Kanta and having contempt is more valuable than not having contempt and ticking up on Nicol Bolas and then drawing the card with Nicol Bolas. Well, there's all my creatures. Take another one just in case. Man, I, I need to refresh this arena. It's just really struggling here. It hasn't been like this the last few days. This game has just been so long. Here we go. So many game objects moving from in between different zones. Ah, a feeble effort. My schemes have been foiled. Witness a moat of my power. Hmm. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. All right, we're coming up on creatures again. Mere scratches. My intellect is without limit. All right, looking for a creature. Nope, nope. Still nope. All right, if we activate, we get a discovery, and then we can discovery and grab Kefnet. Activate. Discovery, Kefnet. I can do all of it. All 
right, we're down to 15 cards. They're at 19 cards. We'll have this game eventually. <laughs> yeah, we had 15 cards and 15 life. I will wipe your bloodline from my schemes are never ending. Right, now time to attack. Is there like a creature over here with this bolus that I can get that will end the game faster? I guess I could get Gideon. But not really. I'm not doing anything because of not wanting to mill out, basically. Yeah, you can you can mill out with Kefnet. Oh, I see what you're saying because we could just we could just replay. Yeah, if we have the two, as long as like a Kefnet doesn't get countered, we also just don't have any incentive to do anything. I will return one day. All right, we got back to in the win column. We played a mid range deck, and that was a lot, a lot easier. Keep making that face, and I'll send your eyebrows. Or I don't know about a lot easier, but that was a pretty difficult game. That we ended up winning there. But yeah, our deck just didn't didn't do too good. Lost twice to mono red, lost once to mono white, and just kind of got stomped. I wonder if... Like, another way to go with this deck is to move away from Thief of Sanity and go with, like, Cry of the Carnarium, Ritual of Soot's main deck and put Thief of Sanity in the board kind of thing. That'll, that'll help out your aggro matchup a lot to be able to have those game one. Frenzy's just so hard to beat, Experimental Frenzy. Mono red in general is just is a bad matchup for us. There was a time where people weren't playing very much mono red, but right now with mono red being just the very like the most popular deck, it's just kind of hard to play Grixis right now. Um, <laughs> yeah, and then if if we do that, if we move the Sandy to the board, then we'll yeah then we'll play against a bunch of Esper decks, and then we'll draw of our Cry of the Carnarians and Ritual of Sets. So no no win situation. <laughs> um. 
yeah, Dovin, Dovin is an option for the deck. You know, you could go like Dovin Narset instead of Thieva Sanity. Also, Thieva Sanity just wins games though. It's so powerful. Um, and it's very good. Moment, of, the thing is, like Moment of Craving. Yeah, that's a thing too. It's just we were lo like we were killing all their stuff and being at like twenty or like you know fifteen or whatever, and they would just play Frenzy, and we just couldn't deal. And then Frenzy just kills us. So it's like, um, it's so hard to beat Frenzy with Grixis. Oh, well, so if you if you do like Grixis a lot, if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, the deck that I'm about to play, Sultai Control, is going to be very similar to Grixis, switching out red for black, or sorry, red for green. Sorry, switching out red for green, where we can have answers to enchantments. Um, but as you can tell, it's definitely you know it's an, another blue black base deck um, where we have like Hydra Crisis, which will gain us life and enter the God Eternals. Um, we'll have Crushing Canopies in the sideboard for enchantments, but then we also have Casualty of War, Casualties of War that destroys enchantments, and then we just have Crisis, which just draws a bunch of cards, refills your hand, and and gives you a good clock against aggro also. This will be the deck that we'll play up next. So if you're watching the Grixis one later on YouTube, hope you tune on over to the Soul Tide Control, see how it goes over here. All right, uh, if you're watching this video later on YouTube, also, again, uh, thank